the tag salon waist. It's about time! I guess I do know how to flat iron curl. Yeah, you I know you more than me. I know. <laughs> yo, yo, welcome back to a new vlog. I'm so irritated because the intro to this vlog where I was talking about a whole bunch of stuff took place in my car. And I'm learning that with the, I almost said turbulence, but with the bumpiness of the ride, that's so irritating because I spoke for so long in the car and it all just sounds distorted. Doom, 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 it's distorted. So let me do my intro now and then we're gonna go to me actually going to the mall. So what I was going to sax because I need to get a gift for my two girlfriends who are coming in town, so let me explain. So I have two Nigerian girlfriends. I knew them from way back in Rhode Island, which is where I'm from. I moved to Houston 13 years ago from Rhode Island and Sherry, <laughs> Sherry, oh my God, you, you, you can't ever tell a story all over again and it be natural, but I'm gonna just remember what I was trying to say to you. Okay, so I knew her in middle school, but we weren't friends until high school. And Sherry is mad smart, okay? My friends are very smart. She was always very good at science. So in high school, she and I were together in physics class. Physics was very difficult for me. Math, you got me. Science, you don't got me. So I remember being like, yo, Sherry, let me sit next to you. So I sat next to her in physics class. And <laughs> I mean, not me being the one like, yo, help me out with this, help me out with that. And she was so sweet. She helped me, right? And we were friends. And then I was like, yo, who's your roommate in college? And she said she didn't have one. So I said, one of your roommates? And she was like, okay. So we were roommates in college. First year we had a double. They put someone in our room. So, cause we had a bigger double that could fit a triple. They put some random woman in our room. We were out, she's not, I'm more assertive. So I was just like, yeah, this is not gonna work anyway. The, the year went by and then I ended up going into a single for the rest of the years and we did share a suite one time, a corridor where everyone had their own room and I've known her, I've just known her since and we've been friends ever since. She, they both live back at home and then, oh, and they're both nurse practitioners, which is so interesting, right? I believe they're in two different segments of nurse practitionership, but whatever. And then, uh, let's see, Mooney. I met her in graduate school. So I finished undergrad where I went to school with Sherry. And then I went to graduate school two years later and I met Mooney. I was there two years. We finished our two-year degree and we've been friends ever since. And Mooney, we, we just have so many memories with all of us. The nice thing is we're all grown. We're all doing our daggone thing. We're all very successful. And it's just so, so great. We don't, I mean, you know me, I've been very intentional as of late to just celebrate myself. As a collective, we don't. They have not been here in ages so Mooney came to visit Sherry came to visit me maybe my second year being here and maybe the same for Mooney but they have not been back in over 10 years so it's just gonna be nice to have them come I'm getting ready for them so that's why I'm going or you'll see in the video I went to the mall because I like to host my people over the years as I've grown and evolved I like to do things differently. I like to host people. I like for people to feel welcome when they come into my home. And there are a lot of things that I do to make that happen. Now, when I do these things, yes, what, the way that I treat people is the way that I would like to be treated. But I cannot guarantee that others will treat me how I treat them. And I'm old enough and mature enough to know that that's okay. When I do things for, for people, I don't do them with the expectation that they're going to do it back I do it because that's what I want to do. So when I host, I like to host. So I got them both a gift. I was asking you, I was discussing in the video what I should get because I was thinking of getting them a 540 handle, but I've already done that for their birthdays as of late. So I don't want to be redundant. And then I was thinking, should I have to do them alone? A body cream. I've gotten Sherry a body cream before. Uh, not Mooney, but anyway, I ended up going with the body cream. You'll see. And I like just how they make it look nice. I didn't have time to order online. I wanted it to be nice in a nice bag. So it's cute. You feel me? So got them a gift. And then I like the idea of a welcome basket, but I don't feel like doing that. So it's more so, a, well, yeah, I mean, I don't have it in actual baskets. Should I have my baskets? I don't have the stuff in baskets, but I have stuff for them. So let's get into it. So I got that. Of course, I have champagne already. We're going to be doing mimosas. They can do the orange juice. I'll do my keto rendition. You feel me? I'm going to make breakfast, <laughs> breakfast, breakfast each morning because I just love to do that. I don't eat breakfast, but I'll make it for them. You know, I do my coffee with my chai tea latte. 
and I got matching pajamas because I was saying in the video that we're gonna do is my idea, like a Galentine's. I was gonna decorate the table and make it so nice, but I don't feel like doing all that. So we're gonna play games and we're matching pajamas. I, I got to all pink pajamas. I mean, you have you see this one, it's a blush, but the pink I got is more, it might even be a more of a magenta. We'll see, it's coming from Amazon. It should be here tomorrow, Wednesday. And I got cute socks. The socks are here. I got the cute socks. I'll show you when I put it all together. I got the cute socks. I got foot masks. I was going to do hydrating foot masks, but I'm going to do exfoliating foot masks because how many of us are exfoliating our feet? I bet you you're not. And the last time I exfoliated was a year ago. I don't do it often because the first time that I did it was my first time ever. And I peeled so much. It was great. Then when I did it a year later, I didn't have as much peeling. And I was like, dang, my feet are so <laughs> great that they didn't peel very much. Because, you know, I do my scrubs and I do my creams and things that melt off the dead skin. What we're going to do is I think it'll be fun. They don't be doing it for their feet. It's just stuff that we work so hard and do so well. We should treat ourselves. So when you come to my house, we're going to treat ourselves. That's really what it all boils down to. So I got the exfoliating foot mask we're going to put those on under our socks or whatever we'll we'll do our foot mask you, you put it on for what 30 minutes or so and then you rinse it off and then seven days later it begins to peel so that's the whole point of it and matching socks pajamas the gift let's see i already put a candle and two fragrances in the bathroom for them to use and of course in my studio there's a whole plethora so they can always use them let's see i got the guest room the guest room stays ready so i didn't got to get ready so that's done and Food. I'm going to make fish and veggies and a rice. I ordered some more rice from Amazon. The low carb rice that I buy, I ordered that. I have an agenda. If you know me, you know I'm an agenda queen. So we have things to do. I'm excited. I'm really excited. It feels like college days again. I'm excited to treat my friends and to have fun. We're going to go out. We're going to go eat. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to talk and laugh and play games and just catch up and run our mouths. Oh, another thing that I do to make my, my people, my guests feel welcome is write a letter. I did this a year and a half ago when my family came to visit. It was my first first time having all of them here and we had such a great time and it was that time that I said I want to write a letter to each individual person about whatever I want to say appreciate them it's important to not just wait until it's the eulogy time but to say whatever is on my heart now and a letter is nice because you can keep it you can toss it do whatever you want with it but at least you you take the time to read what I've said to you so I'm going to write a letter and I normally just talk it I speak it into my notes app and then just print it and sign it and then fold it yeah I could handwrite it but when I get to going with the handwriting it can look a little when I now I could write it in my good notes app but it's a lot easier to just speak it yeah, it just is faster. When I start writing, you see, I talk fast. And then when I talk fast, I almost stutter. And when I write fast, it's giving the same thing. I don't have time for that. So I'm going to just type it in front of it. It's just easier for me. I'm going to write a letter for them. I'm sharing these ideas because perhaps if you want to be better at hosting or just have different ideas to host whenever you're hosting anyone, you can take some of the things that I do and implement them because people love it. I mean, I'm not a hotel. I don't get guests every day, but they love it. They love it. My mom, I said, everybody loves it. They're just like, this is so nice, you know? And then champagne when they come. Let's cut to me in the car going to Saks. I'm trying to pull out my key card. Okay, good. So this is the key card. I'm going to put it right here in the car. Said I want to pull the valet. The key is right there. All I have today is this little coach crossbody situation. Real tiny because I'm in and out. And I had my tote when I went to uni school. Oh, you can't even see it. Can you see it? It's right here. <laughs> That's so annoying. Okay. Ooh. I can let these armpits dry, honey. This is a situation. This is a problem. You can go ahead and turn right on the red, honey. Yo, there's mad traffic. Let me go here. Ooh. I like to make a full turn when I'm turning late, switching lanes because I've been in a car accident. I was a teenager. <laughs> Granted, I was on the phone. Okay. I was on the phone in a heated argument. <sighs> I think I was switching lanes. I don't know if somebody else was switching lanes. All I know is the back side of my vehicle was hit and I went spinning, spinning. Oh my God, that was so scary. That was so freaking scary, Jesus. And then my car hit the side. I mean, this was during rush hour traffic. Thank God nobody else hit me. Thank God it didn't hit anybody else. I mean, it was just, it was only Jesus. It was only Jesus. So ever since that freaking scary encounter, whenever I'm switching lanes, not just turning, switching lanes, I turn my whole body. I don't just trust the side and no, no, no. I turn my whole body because 
joint traumatized me. It traumatized me. So I always just turn. I don't care what it is. Oh, let me close this. I never leave this open. But I did today because I'm like, I need to enjoy my vehicle. Excuse me. <laughs> So I opened it to get some sun on me, but I want to close it. I like it closed because I like to it, for the inside of the car to be dark. I don't need this thing to be light. I don't need everyone to see inside. In fact, I need to tint it darker. I don't like. I need the tint to be darker. It needs to be black. You feel me? I need you to not be able to see me inside. I don't need to be looking at someone and then looking dead in my eyes. Like, hi, you can see me? How? Ooh. I'm gonna piece my. Uh. Go ahead. <laughs> All set. Thank you. Hi, thanks. Hello, how are you doing? Thank you. The key is right there. Yeah. Yes, yeah. thank you. Yeah, there was trash, can you imagine? Ooh, it's a sunny day. It feels so weird not having a bag. Here it is. This one right here. Yes. It smells so good. Got the goodies. That was quick and easy. Yo, this key card stuff is so annoying. He can't open the door. Oh my god. What do I have to do? This is so stupid. <laughs> He's over there trying to. Let me just go get my own damn car because my phone opens my door. I can't. Let me go get my car. Uh oh. Unless he's at the wrong car. Hold on. That might not be my vehicle. Is that mine? Is this the right car? <laughs> Let me check. I don't know. It might be another one. Yeah, I see. When you close, then it opened. Yeah. Oh my God. It's mine. Yeah. He I... know you more than me. I know. <laughs> I don't know if it's an issue with the key or what, but yeah, okay. You know, sometimes when you have cold time, it's, it's freezing. Yeah. yeah. You need warm, I think. Okay. Thank All right. Well, thank Appreciate you. you. Have a great day. Okay. I'm be having to walk to my own car. Yo, that's not gonna work. Imagine if this car was packed somewhere mad far. I need my key card to work at all times. Excuse me? Good lord. Where is my key card? That's a problem. What do I have to do? What happened to it? Did it get dis... Did it get deactivated? Card active. Please take card with you when leaving the vehicle or deactivate it. Otherwise, vehicle... Deactivate card? No. I don't want to deactivate card. Why wasn't it working? That has not happened to me before. They're normally able to bring my car back to me. Key card with unrestricted permission to drive. Oh, I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like you. packed my bag really quick I most used bags I have duplicates so I keep in them I don't always I don't be taking stuff out and putting them into whatever bag I'm wearing or carrying that day no I just have duplicates so in just about every bag that I have I've got hand wipes hand sanitizer lotion chapstick which could be a gloss I just call everything a chapstick and let's see lotion I said that already and that's it. So all I have to do when I'm changing bags is put in my wallet and my AirPods. So that's what I just did with my black Kate Spade bag. And I'm doing my hair, I'm about to do my makeup and go to lunch. Yesterday I did my, my hat, my, what's it? U part wig, yeah. The U part wig, it is so cute. Listen, having this down, I don't know, I guess I will put it down. My hair is just so fine that it just feels like, what? Having it down just feels like, what? No, I could put my hair. See, okay, the reason why I bring that up is because I could do the U part wig, but I'm really in a rush right now. I don't have time to try to make that U part wig look good, or should I just do it? Because what I was gonna do with this hairstyle is my one of my favorites, which is right here. I take the hair from the back so it's more full because you know my hair is fine, and then I was gonna do the two curls. Look how long my hair. <laughs> Oh my God. So I was gonna do the two curls, but then this just being down like that bothers me. I have curled it in the past, but see, it's not full. And then if I had that extra piece of hair that I was looking for 10 years ago, I would've done my top knot, but I can't find that hair. I need to buy, 
I need to buy some new hair. Because when I first did this hairstyle, I had it with a top knot. I added some hair and I did the top knot and it was so cute. Shoot. And my edge, my my roots are looking real suspect. This is the issue with freaking having your natural hair out. Because then of course I have to gather all of this up and make it look nice. But I do like that that look with the curls like this. I do like it. Maybe I should just do it. Thin bun or not, who cares, right? It's my hair. I should just do it, shouldn't I? I'm gonna pin that bun up right now. I mean, not everyone has full hair. So I gotta just do what I have. All right, let me pin this up right now then. I didn't even try to make that any kind of situation. We just gonna pin it. If I put a, a elastic, will it, like rubber band, will it stay? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna pin this hair. I'm gonna just clip this up because I'm gonna curl it at the end of the, and let's see if it even lasts. It better. Okay, let's just get it out of my, wait, I need to get it out of my face. Go in the world, okay. But I need to, oh, this is the problem. I need to slick down my hair. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a problem. So with my hair on the sides and the back, okay, it needs to be down out of the way. Issue with that is that the edge control is gooey. So ooh, 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 it's coming undone. But like tomorrow, I'm gonna need to wash my hair. It was just, I don't get it. What are they doing in the hair salons? I've not been to a hair salon to get a hairstyle in ages. I mean, how do they do it? Are they using some kind of freeze freeze stuff? Remember that hairstyle where you bumped the front and then you had the top? That used to be a hairstyle. Okay, yeah. Cause I mean, this thing, this is not very flat, okay? And what I was gonna do, or what I am gonna do is my edge control. It ain't the greatest. I ordered a new edge control from TikTok shop. So I wonder how that's gonna be. I mean, this one is okay. But see, like I wish it, I don't know. What are they doing? Are they using freeze? freaking bold holes type sprays in the hair salon to get this up my hair's dry uh, here we are uh, i just have to figure out something for right now so let's just get this up my main concern is the front when the hair i mean no i gotta get these beauty beads too <laughs> i gotta get these beauty beads it gotta look nice hello this is the ebon edge control it's not my favorite it's just what i have I need something better. So when you gather it like that, then it's like you need to pull it all over again, but I already did the bun. I'm so irritated. I already did the bun. And then it was up in the back of my hair, they need to mind their business. That's the perfect candidate for someone that needs to mind their business. You know what I'm saying? Okay, it does feel way more secure. Should I, should I just leave it down? If I leave it down, what's going to be having this then? Cause this is supposed to be, what to do, what to do, what to do when the table's a turn. Okay, what I do makeup, I'll think. And if I want to pin it up, I'll pin it up. For right now, I need to move on. Now, I still be needing to fill in my edges because what happens, which is so wild to me, is that when I do my contour with the makeup, okay, so if I have no makeup on, it's fine. I don't, the edges don't concern me. When I do my makeup and do my contour, then the faintness of my edges is way more pronounced because it's dark over here and light and then dark because it's faint and that is so hideous so when i have my hair flat ironed like this i still need to fill in my edges because to me the only time that i need to fill in my edges is when i do my slick back with the gel and, and the got to be but i've learned that even with my hair being flat ironed if i'm going to pull it back like this or even just in general i need to do it because it, I've noticed it'd be looking so weird. I'd be like, why does my hairline look like that? It's because I have the dark contour and it doesn't match the faintness of my hairline. That was the MAC Prep and Prime lip balm, which is so good for my lips. I have my brushes in this now, which makes my life so much easier. Let's see, I did try out this About Face foundation the other day. I wasn't too crazy about it. It's cooler. The weather is cooler outside, but this Makeup Forever HD Skin matches me perfectly, whereas this Gucci foundation is darker. And I don't want to do the Makeup Forever one today because I would need to change my concealer in order so in order for my face to not look so light. And I say it all the time, but let me explain it here. When I use a foundation that is darker than my face, 
so it matches my neck and chest then when I highlight and everything, it all looks great. If I use the way that I like it, if I use a foundation that matches my skin tone, matches my face perfectly, it's too light for my neck and chest. And then when I finish my face off, I just feel like my face looks mad light. I don't like that, you feel me? So the shade of that Make Forever HD skin is perfection for my skin tone. For my face though, not for my neck and chest. So when I'm gonna use that, I have to change the concealers to make sure that it's not too light. And I just I have, to, I have to make sure that my contour is really deep. And I just have to blend it in a certain way so that I still feel, okay, this looks like me. But I don't feel like doing all that right now. That's why I chose the Gucci one because 540N is nice and deep. And it's just great. And this is the Morphe E63 brush. For instance, the concealer that I'm using for a minute now is the Sephora Best Skin Ever. This is 50N. It's neutral. And I, I thought about it the other day. I was like, huh, I miss my face being more golden. I have this Jaclyn Hill Cos or Jaclyn Cosmetics one, which is, she's just, what, what is it? She's closed down her store or her brand, whatever the case is. I like that concealer. I mean, it is golden. I know I have some other golden concealers. This one is just what I've been enjoying for a minute now, but that golden concealer makes a difference. And then the Patrick Sta powder foundation, which is dark 4 G's golden. I love how that makes my makeup look. I did put it on retirement a little bit because I, I was using it way too much and I wanted to recycle some new options for myself and for you all. But yo man, I like that one. <laughs> I like it because I like the G. I mean, the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder is great. I love it. Reminds me of Max, Mac, uh, what, Micro, no, what was it, what was it called? What was that Mac powder called? Studio Fit, no. What's it called? Oh my gosh. Now I don't remember. I didn't have enough concealer to go on my chin. So I'm gonna add more and then take it and then do it here. I forget the name, Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish. That's what it was. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Nice coverage, it's light, and it's cool. Okay, so I'm taking the leftover and going under my chin. And also what I've been doing is swooping it in, swoop. So not just a straight line, but a swoop. You feel me? It makes a subtle difference, baby. A subtle one. I remember when I used to use the, the Amazon makeup sponges, <laughs> almost exclusively, and those were cool. And I don't know what happened. I just fell into these elf ones and then the beauty blender is just always a staple why not and this right here is a beauty blender i'll link all the products below by the way lys stick bronzer in the shade worthy deep always so good they sent me this <laughs> what rhinestoned out one it's so cute they oh not me chopping off some of it they know this is my fave yo when you wash the brushes sometimes they'll have this stain color on here it's red because obviously there's red in this brown product and it's staining this brush. I will turn the brush around and keep a paper towel on me to wipe it off if I feel like I've reached a point where I now wanna blend and not necessarily add any more product. So I'm just looking and stepping back and so now I've got enough on, I wanna blend. I took a lot, mm -hmm. but I like it. And if this isn't moving enough for you, if you feel like it's too dry, spray the face with a hydrating setting spray. Or you can even use the MAC, what's it called? The MAC, what's the MAC? Studio Fix Plus, yeah. And then blend it. It'll feel like, it'll just, it'll blend so easily. I did that one time, my face was feeling real dry. And I was like, oh, whoa, this is really slippery. I mean, it was moving in the best way. I'm not left-handed, but sometimes my right arm is just too tired blending on this side. So here I am, yeah, blend it right into the hair. Okay. The more I blend it into the hair, then I don't see that my hairline is faint. Gotta do. When I'm in a rush and I don't blend my contour into my hairline enough, I be feeling so ridiculous, it's so annoying. Okay, leftover product, this is a Sigma brush, and we're gonna do the nose contour. And sometimes if this is not dark enough, I will go in the LIS bronzer and get some, because sometimes I'm just, listen, I wanna get to where I'm going fast. This is soft, I want more. Taking some, this is very creamy, it goes a long way. Back of the hands, I have more control, starting up here, right where my brow is, because that's where I want it to be the darkest faded right up into my brow and then i wiped off the brush i'm stepping back because that's how you really get a good view of what everything looks like 
And then with what's left over, I'm bringing it down and then cap off that tip. Now back of the sponge, blending this line of demarcation right here between the concealer and the contour. Turning my hand over to do the same here and then turning it over to do the same here. And then this does end up taking the contour away more than I would like. So then I just do lightly go back over here and it shouldn't be harsh at all. This Makeup Forever Translucent and the Sephora 99 brush. I'm taking the Huda Luminous Setting Powder. This is, these are my, these are my usuals. These are my tried and trues. These are my, when I got somewhere to go and I don't want to think too hard. I know that these products are going to do what I need them to do. And that's the kit right here in the bathroom. This is the one I use the most. I'll change a few things every now and again, but it normally stays the same. Remember the days of bacon under my eyes? Oh my gosh. I, I just cannot. I, no. <laughs> no, I don't do that anymore. It's been years. And this is the Huda Beauty Press Powder. Cinnamon Bun is the shade. Ooh, wait. Let me take some of that Makeup Forever Translucent above the brows. I like them to be very dry. And then the eyelid. I feel dry. <laughs> yes. Now, normally here I would deepen up the contour, but I don't need to. I'm just taking the brush that had leftover product. I would deepen it up with a powder foundation, but leftover product. Let's just do it with that. And then Sephora Translucent. This is the shade. No, Sephora Micro Smooth. I said MAC Micro. I said MAC Mineralize, right? Okay. Sephora Micro Smooth. The shade is 85. Espresso. This brush is so soft and fluffy. Number 80 brush. Now this is gonna add light coverage. If you don't wanna do all these steps, but you wanna do a little something, something, this is a powder that's gonna add light coverage for you. But let's say you wanna do the minimal amount of steps, get a powder foundation. It's gonna give you full coverage or medium if you wanna apply it lightly. So you decide on the coverage you want when you are, before you choose your products. What are my cheeks? I need to shave my face. What's today? Oh, it's the first of the month, 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 month. Beginning of the month, I keep forgetting. I need to shave my face at that time. Good Lord. Yeah, because my the coverage be looking real weird. Denisa Myrick's Golden Hour. <laughs> it's taking a lot to build up because there's a lot of residue on here from dipping and dipping. If I cleaned it, oh, it can be from zero to a hundred quickly. But that's okay. Okay, I am gonna take the powder foundation to fix up my contour because when I do the blush, I need the contour to blend into it. The blush does end up taking taking over the contour and that's not what I want necessarily. It needs to blend. My hair feels tight. This my tail is tight now. <laughs> Woo. And then we're gonna bring some of this back because it does get lost. Just leftover product on this sponge. All right. Rich 660 and Elf Cosmetics powder. This is a powder foundation. So it's given full coverage. And I go back here. Well, since we're here, let's just bring the leftover down. Now that you're too close, you can't tell that the makeup is, is sufficient. So that step back, I always step back. Why my armpits sweat? I'm so irritated. Sweaty armpits, yeah. My brow product is done. Where's my, ooh, I need a new brow product. My Koki brow black eyebrow pencil is done. Ooh, I'm always gonna put a reddish brown in the crease. And this is a different Huda palette because my other one is done. I need to get a new one. This is a Toffee Brown palette. And it's got this beautiful color in here. Sometimes, as of late, I've taken this reddish brown color and put it all over my eyelid and it ends up matching my blush so well to look like I've done a monochrome look when really that wasn't the intention. This color is just that good. 
You see, it matches my blush. Even though the blush is orange, you see, but it, it all just goes together. Red and orange, same family. And then we're gonna put some under the eye. This is the MAC 15 brush, excuse me. This is the Sephora 15 brush. And then the other one that I was using is the Morphe M441 brush in my crease. If you've gotten better with your makeup since watching, since watching my videos, comment and let me know, because I wanna know. And what are some areas where you still need some help? That's always so helpful to know. In the same palette to make my life easier, that brown, at the bottom right. Oh, this might not be dark enough though. It needs to contrast from the eyelid, otherwise it looks monochrome. It looks monochrome. It only contrasts a little. It's fine. It's not a, it's not a huge contrast, but we're gonna go with it right now. When I do that throwaway to make sure that this part is blended too. That, that does make a difference. See how I blend in real time? I want it to stack up in the front. The middle right here needs to be nice and deep because I even contoured there. That's intentional. It looks so good that way. And then lightly feathering it back here and even under light, light, light so that there's nothing harsh. I used to do, oh wait, that's the wrong color. I used to do the harsh line back there. You know how people do their eyes first? and then take concealer or a towel or makeup wipe and then they wipe it so that that bottom line is sharp. I used to do that when I used to do eyes first back when I worked at MAC. I don't do eyes first anymore. It's been a lot of years and I also don't prefer that sharp line anymore. I prefer my makeup to blend nicely. So see, just very lightly blending so that it's there but it's not sharp. I don't prefer that sharp look. All right, right in the inner eye, you know kickball from Milk. And there's some other, like in the in those eyeshadow palettes, there are colors that I could use. This is just such a habit of mine. But those eyeshadow palettes, either of those two would be great for a full eye look if you have brown skin like me. So it's the Huda Matte Obsessions or the Huda Toffee Brown, both very good. Here's Toffee Brown, lots of good options. Even orange and yellow, beautiful. Like a, a subtle orange and a yellow, and then this one too. Got a subtle orange in the. All right, this Huda Beauty Creamy Coal Liner is so good. I'm so over liners that I have to sharpen. And then putting the liner just makes the eye look more bold, more sultry. Look at that difference. And we're not just putting it in the eye line, it's getting on the skin underneath. And that's intentional because I want it to look a little more dramatic. We're gonna blend that in nicely. In the top liner, I just be putting it on, yo. And I've been doing this for so long that it will be neat. <laughs> but this might <laughs> concern you a bit that I'm just drawing it like this, but I do this almost every day. So look, done. And we're gonna smudge it a little bit. And if I make a mistake like I just did on this eye, I'm not concerned because I smudge my liner with this. I'm not doing perfect eyeliner. Those days are over. I'm not even interested. Okay, so just smudge it. And you know that I've done my eyeliner where I've used a black eyeshadow just to smudge it on. So look, it's there. My lashes are so full that the precision of my eyeliner is not important. It's unimportant. The lashes, I mean, the lashes I'm referring to are my falsies. This is the Huda One Coat. Love this, so good. This is the Kiss Super Stronghold Lash Glue. I would do a lip gloss, but because I'm gonna have bangs, I don't want there to be wind blowing my hair onto my lips. That irritates me. All right, let's do the Sephora Collection 26 Lip Stain. Ooh, 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 this is a, an oh, ooh. Whenever I go to my lips, I then remember that I have not highlighted because above my lip needs to be highlighted. Right here, Milk Cosmetics Lit. Creamy highlighter, and then I go right there, and then I go right here in the middle of the nose. Whenever I do my lip, I know when that joint ain't done. Cause I see it, I see that it looks dry. And I'm like, oop, something is missing. And now we do the lip and it just looks so good. Okay, bring it in, still a little wet, cause it can't dry, well, I was gonna do a lip stain, but then I'm thinking about doing this one, Talented Matte Lipstick from Rare Beauty. In that case, this should dry, right? Because this is a little creamy. Let's see. I was thinking about doing my other lip stain that I always do. Let's try something new, right? Ooh, this color is nice. Yes. A nice peachy nude. Hmm. 
and it's creamy. Oh yes. Gorgeous. I messed up my liner. I'm gonna use this creamy eye coal right here. The brown one from Huda in my lip. I mean, a liner's a liner. Okay. And then the lashes, you know my good faithful lashes, honey. This is a must. If you don't get anything else, grab this to piece your lashes and the falsies together. So effortless. Okay, and then the Huda One Coat on the bottom lashes. I love this makeup look, by the way. I need a little bit of hydration, not a lot, just a little bit. I'm spraying it pretty far away because this can make your face very dewy, but I don't need it to be too dewy. All right. I put on this bodysuit to add an extra layer because I don't like when it's cold out. It's, it's what, I was, I was gonna say it's below 50, 60. It is below 60, it's 50 something. And I don't like when the air be piercing through your sweater. So that's why the bodysuit's on, but that's not part of the outfit. So here's a skirt from Mango. Tights are Mango as well. And this skirt clips in the back. It's so crazy because I feel like it's about to be summertime. <laughs> some days are in the 70s, some days are cold, and it's like, yo, are we buying summer clothes right now or what? But where you live, it might be snowing. Honey. Now, this skirt don't have no shorts underneath it, and it show sure is short. <laughs> Woo, baby. Yo. Oh! <laughs> Let me... Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, if this skirt, I'm gonna wear a jacket. I'm gonna wear a jacket and then when I sit down, it is what it is. I'm not just walking around because if the wind blows and this goes up, you're gonna think that, like it just looks ridiculous, okay? I'm gonna wear a jacket so you'll just see the front of me because what? And then I'm doing this sweater from Mango. Very warm and cozy, it's a mock neck. And oh, let me see, I forgot the size. What does it say? Oh, the tag is still on. I'm annoyed. Hold on. Okay, let's take it off because I haven't worn it since I changed the size, did I? It's a small. It's a mock neck, size small, and this is, this is, this is huge. For it to be a size small, this is very spacious. So yeah, Ooh, look at that waist. I'm doing a disappearing act. Ew. Now, I'll put on my cowboy boots in a second and let's do the bangs. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is going on? Why? Guan? What? Now my hair tied. Okay. I'm gonna actually put on my curling iron because I put on my flat iron, but it's giving put on the curling iron. Shoot. Right? Am I putting this? Up? Shoot. I need my because I don't know how to flat iron curl. Do you know how to do that? Ooh. Look, it ain't even enough. Oh, it did do something. Hold on. Ooh. I mean, it's a little crimped up and messed up. Hold on. Oh. Oh, it did do <laughs> me. I don't know how to, and then I just do it. I'm gonna wait. Wait, oh my God, I'm not doing it right. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I guess I do know how to flat iron curl. I'm annoyed. Uh, <laughs> it's not something that I do. Now this curl, hmm, is it even gonna stay is the question. Oh shoot, oh my God. I don't think this side's gonna come out the way I'm hoping, is it? Oh, okay, it did. <laughs> it's not as tight. It's not as tight. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're both gonna fall anyway. Oh, wow, not me. Not me surprising my own self. Okay, now this is gonna fall, which is cool. I can't leave that, sh this back straight. Yeah, I just need to go ahead and do the little loose thing that I did earlier. Let's put it that way. Okay. And this is the hairstyle I did for the video. All right, let's just pin it. This is a temporary hairstyle. It's not something that's supposed to last 
two weeks. I'm gonna come home and take all this down and put my hair in a clip. Okay. Whoa. Did I just do something? Now hold on. This is looking very. It needs to come down. Ooh. ooh. Am I putting flakes in my hair? I cannot. I feel like a little child. <laughs> what child is this that laid it rest and done? Oh, I should have taken more. I should have taken more hair out so that there isn't this gap. Oh. Reminded, I'm reminded. It's been a while since I did this hairstyle. I should have taken some more. Okay, is, let me turn this off. Is this hairspray gonna do anything? We're going to see. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Please, please, please go down. I mean, I'm young and sexy, but good Lord, I don't want to be looking like I'm 14 years old. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Let me change my earrings. Oh, they're over there. Okay, let me get my boots. I have these inserts from Amazon. I'll link them below as well in case you want them to hold up your boots. They work really well. You know, in your closet, on the floor, on the shelf. Whatever your heart desires. Let's tuck it in and then take some out. Ooh. I, I don't wear skirts often, so I'm figuring all this out. Because otherwise it just looks too, it looks like too much. Not the back going up. <laughs> Ooh. This is very oversized, okay? This is not a jacket to give you any kind of silhouette okay this jacket looks like dang whose jacket are you wearing your dad's <laughs> that's intentional that's the vibe that i wanted to go for alexa what is the current weather outside good afternoon Mina. the current weather is 62 degrees fahrenheit with clear skies 62 and hear your alarm would you like me to Wow, actually a nice day outside. <laughs> but knowing me, I'll still feel cold, so what I have on is still fine. Oh, there she is. Hi. Yes, with them, yes, thank you. Hello, girl, it's the it's the whole family. Hi girls. You look so beautiful. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. This is a small spot. Yeah. I didn't realize it was so it's like quaint. Oh, is it really? Good morning. First of all, can we get some appreciation for the waist? Because not only is your girl losing weight, the waist, ugh, it looks impossible. Let me turn here. I need to paint my walls again. Hand prints, keep, keep some of your paint for your walls so you can re repaint it. That's what I normally do, but it's been a while. Can we get, can, look, these, do, okay. And obviously I'm, I'm contracting my abs and you still have some swelling right here at the top. That's normal but I want to lose weight because I want this to go down and I just want to be more fit. But yeah, my belly button is lightening up. It's not as dark. Cause... Anyway, we're here in the guest room now. They're going to be here in a few hours. I'm about to take Nini to school. And I just wanted to show you what I had talked about. It feels like two years ago, okay? So right here, I actually had a different candle here, but Rare Beauty sent me this candle and I thought it was so cute because the color scheme it just makes the most sense. So I'll light it when they get close so that it could just be going. And here are the two fragrances that I was telling you about, mainly because it matches the aesthetic. Uh, I bought this a long time ago, Replica Springtime in a Park. Very sweet and soft. And then when the rain stops was sent to me, I did a collab with Replica. I like it a lot. And then I got some towels here. The two bath towels are in here actually. So they've got, oh, let me make this look more decent, hello. They've got their own towel warmer, you feel me? And Brand new towels are inside. Like I said, I didn't want to be doing no dingy, whatever, <laughs> questionable towels. I got a brand new hand towel there. And then this just makes the place smell good, of course. Two different things because I have stuff. And then I have this here because why not? MFK, <laughs> bath gel, and hand soap. 
body soap, bath gel, shower gel, or hand gel, and lotion. You can't beat it. And then here is the guest room. It's dark in here. Actually, let me open the blind. Guest room has been like this. Hopefully the stuff is not dusty. I haven't touched it. It's been looking like this. This is an extra from Target and you know what I'm saying? And then I put these together last night. It was so, it takes a lot of work, okay? But it's so worth it. So we've got these for two cases. Can you imagine? I mean, come on, this is how you, this is let me, let me upgrade you, you know? Love that. So I'm gonna have this here for them. I bought three. And I'll link all this below, Avi. This has been here. That's from Amazon. It changes from military to regular time. And then here's my startup <laughs> of their gifts. But I'm so irritated. The pajamas are coming today. They were supposed to come yesterday. When Amazon does that, like, you should be ashamed. You're pissing me off. Okay, so that'll come. But here are the gifts. And then I have shower mittens. Here are the socks. And then I just had these extra situations from Lawless. I thought because they were red, they'd be so cute for Valentine's Day, even though Valentine's Day is next month, but that's okay. And I actually have two robes. Let me go bring the other one here. I just want things to be nice and neat, you know me. It makes me happy. And I like for people to be comfortable. Oh, I still need to write the letter. I mean, I just know that I'm gonna say it so it's easy, but yo, I didn't, I've been having so much to do, man. It's just wild. And I'm doing laundry. I don't know that I told you my dryer went out. I had to buy a dryer last minute. It came on Monday and I'm just so backed up on laundry. It's crazy. So I'm doing that. Oh, did I already show you? I already, did I already show you this? Poop, poop spray, sanitizer, room spray, and then Vagisil wipes, that's important, that's cute. Oh, and then the shower just, it just stay with stuff, yo. It stay with stuff in it, like I just can't even deal. <laughs> it stay decked out with stuff. So I think they're gonna be very happy and comfortable. And you know I still have the light up situations. <laughs> Listen, I give my own words to stuff because when I have a lot of things in my mind, I don't have time to say things the right way. I just say it however it comes out. <laughs> So I want to finish all of these. I have the longer one that looks like a mop. So I'll put those in once these ones are all done. I made a cart with Instacart for HEB because HEB has better fruit than Walmart. Walmart's fruit, they don't do good. Put the popcorn in here. Instacart just got here. I got green beans. These are washed and trimmed, which is perfect because everything just needs to be as easy as possible. And then I got mushrooms. I have not had mushrooms in so long. I love mushrooms. So I'm gonna make some. I got avocado. These are not ripe, so they'll just sit like usual and ripen. And then I'm gonna go shower and do makeup. <laughs> I got my popcorn. Yo, I had some stale popcorn in that thing left over. We got some new popcorn over there. I love these jumbo blueberries. 
from H-E-B. I'm looking at them well because I don't want any rotten ones. The jumbo ones are so juicy and so good. I've been eating them all in five minutes. They're so good. All right, I'm gonna make the, let me prep the, ah, let me prep the veggies. Put it in here with onion, peppers, onion, peppers, and then I have fish. I have salmon. I didn't get the salmon steak because I forgot I had so much salmon. So I have salmon that I'm gonna just cook. That I can cook, uh, takes 30 minutes. So once I know they're on their way, I'll put that in the air fryer. And this, I'm gonna start both of them at the same time. So what I'm really gonna do right now before I go shower and everything is just put it, prep it into this, what, frying pan thing, magic and then when they're on their way, I'll start it and cook the coffee to neutralize the scent, you know, you know, you know, and go for it. Oh my goodness, but look at it. It filled up the whole thing, because where am I gonna put the peppers? Then again, when it cooks, it goes down. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. when it cooks, it goes down. We're gonna add some color with the red and the yellow. My love and my defender. Oh, amazing, the onion is because, yes, it's delicious, but it also gives it flavor. You feel me? Okay, I'm gonna put some water in here. Not a lot, enough to see it at the bottom, because this is a lot of, of green beans. Because it's gonna steam. I'm gonna keep this coffee on because I can smell the onions. Then, in the pot to cook it is a bunch of olive oil. Ooh, I gotta buy some more olive oil. This is about to be done. I love using this, honey. It's a one stop shop. Nor, this is beef. They be, I think they have a chicken one. I'll be knowing. Uh, we use this in our food, Ghanaian food. It's just a one-stop shop. I'll be putting this on everything, y'all. And I just sprinkle it. You do gotta mix it, cause otherwise it will just sit in one area. This is a lot of green beans and onions, so taking an ample amount. Uh -huh, don't kill me, I wanna hear it. Okay, watch your sodium levels yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm trying your own sodium level. What yeah, yeah. It looks so colorful and good. Now I'm gonna cover it. You know what? Because the onions are so much, I'm gonna slow cook this. I'm gonna just start now. I forgot to add my mushrooms. We don't have space. Next time. Ooh, no, you have the wrong. Ah, oh, so annoying. Why did you tell me I had the wrong one on? Guy, I'm in such a rush. I can't even think. <laughs> I had the wrong one on. I'm annoyed. Here we go. Okay. Okay, I'm all dressed in this Amazon dress that I've had for some time. I love it. They're, they're almost here. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm so excited. Ah. I can't wait. Yo, I'm shaking. Oh, they were delayed. They're taking so long. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm shaking. My heart is racing. My heart is racing. Oh, thank God for friendships. Oh, thank God for friendships. I'm just so, like long-term friendships too. I, I did their letters and I printed them. The pajama still are not here yet. So when they come today, I'm sure they'll be, they'll be here by tonight and then I'll gather together with the gift and then give it to them. So they're not gonna get that now. They're here. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Okay. Oh. I have a headache. I have a headache because I'm so excited. My mouth is dry. I couldn't even eat. My mouth is dry. My mouth is dry. Okay. Oh, they have masks on. Oh, they wore masks on the airplane. They're so funny. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm just excited. It's, it's, it's excitement. They have masks on. They're so funny. Oh my God. Damn it. What kind of suitcases do they have? Not them chit-chatting. Hey, get in here and then talk. We'll be talking before you get here. 